Hi there, I'm Siri, the Associate Creative Director at Hatch Duo, and I'm here with you today to give you a little sneak peek at how we are improving mood boarding, making it easier, faster, and more efficient using artificial intelligence. As a designer, I learned really early on that mood boarding is a very important part of the creative process. It's a visual playground, it's where inspiration is found, and it's where ideas start to come to life. It's a very critical tool, not just for creatives alone, but even when you're communicating with clients, trying to translate your ideas, trying to work with a team, mood board is where everyone can align. And traditionally, mood boarding involved hours of manual searching, of cutting and pasting and rearranging elements to capture a very precise and specific aesthetics or concepts or idea. And while it's very critical to our workflow, it could be very time consuming and frankly, tedious, right? And that's why we create a tool of our own called Mood AI. At Hatch Duo, we're no strangers when it comes to new and emerging technologies, especially around artificial intelligence. Once more and more of those tools became available in the market, we've started to experiment and we learned really early on that these tools are great ways to improve your workflow and make the process go by much quicker. And it's the same case here. We realized that by integrating AI, we could make mood boarding faster, easier, and more efficient. So we set out to create a tool that would redefine the way designers approach this critical part in the creative process. So introducing Mood AI, our very own AI tool designed by designers for designers. I'll be taking you through the workflow of the program so you could see how you might use Mood AI for your own creative projects. So this is the page where you'll see once you've logged in to Mood AI, you see your name at the very top and a little arrow drop down menu where you could reset tutorials or log out. The very first time you visit, there will be a tutorial just to make sure that you understand where things are and you're not going to get lost with all the various functions. And of course, you have the option to log out. The search bar is where you can call out the visuals, um, any, any keywords that you would like and the visuals that feels the most appropriate would pop up. You can navigate through the different folders and subfolders in the program in the bar above. And at the very top, you have the add new projects. You can click here and give it a name. I'm going to call mine beach day and you can say create and it will be add to the top of the list. This three drop down menu allow you to duplicate, rename or delete. Once you click in, you have the actual project name at the very top added there. You have three layouts available um, because we haven't created anything. No mood boards are added yet. So let's add layout number one. For the name, let's say if you're designing something, maybe you want to have the context and make sure that you're designing to the, for the right environment. So let's say context and say create. And of course, the board's going to be added here. Same thing as the last page, the drop down menu allows you to duplicate, rename, or delete. You also have space here for project images in case you already stumble upon pictures you want to consider but aren't quite sure and you can add them here and it will just hop to the side and you can add new ones right at the same spot. Very easy, just drag and drop and let's click onto the actual board. You see that the context, the name of the board is added above. You have all of this toggle menu where you could say maintain color scheme, find similar images, you can toggle between using Mood AI database for visuals or using Google search. There's also the options to toggle and activate um, ChatGPT and allow it to assist in generating the text to help with the image search and generate option here activates the actual AI assisted process. You also have this toggle key here for description um, and just from our experience we we know that there are a few kind of common themes of mood board you may have to build personas aesthetics brands and then of course you have the option to just do a custom one so let's say if the aesthetic theme is the beach the keyword would be the beach ocean sand seashells water palm trees and you can use ai again to help generate your description so let's, let's begin. Let's say my keyword, I want it to be ocean. And let's select one that 
feels just right. I think I want something a little bit more colorful, so this one works just fine. So once you drop the image in, you'll notice a yellow border all around, and there's a lock symbol. You can go through here and make some adjustment. Fill would force, force the image to fill out the whole page. It's the automatic setting once you drop an image in where the image is forced to fit. So if it's a longer image, you would you may see more white spaces. Um, you also have the option to slider to zoom in and out, and you're able to move the image to where you feel um, like it fits the best and click save. If you click on this, this unlocks the image, the yellow border disappeared, and now this image can be replaced with another. So if you, if you notice, once I put it here, it's locked. If I wanna drag a new image over, it will not allow me. So you'll have to unlock it and add the right image. And of course, sometimes you look around and you know you keep scrolling, keep scrolling, you change the keyword a few times and you just don't find the right image, but you happen to have it on your camera and you just want to use that as well. You can just click on an empty image box and you can just go right to where you need, but you won't be able to show origin um, on here very successfully compared to images that are generated or are collected from our own database. Um, for when you want to give some credits. But let's see, let's add perhaps one more. Let's say sand. Let's see what comes up. That's more too much of a desert. Let's go with beach. And perhaps I want a picture. Oh, seashells could be nice. Let's add them over here. All right, let's say I want to maintain color scheme. I want to find similar images and I want to use our own database and I can click generate. Give it a few seconds. And boom, visuals start appearing. So once you get to this page, maybe some work, some doesn't. Maybe they feel too similar. Um, perhaps I quite like this shot. I can lock this and I can turn off, maybe maintain um, similar visuals. It's just not what I'm looking for. Maybe I want ChatGPT to stay involved a little bit more and I can regenerate. And you'd notice that the visual that I like can be locked um, and it would be kept and taken into the next round of considerations. Now we have more visuals that are much more diverse. So I like this visuals of the person. I like the palm tree. The bonfire feels like this is not like, the right visuals. So I could do that and then do another generation. We can go another round. Let's try turning off the color scheme. Let's try using Google. There you go. Maybe those are cool. I quite, maybe I'm not quite loving that visuals, but I like what I put out here. I can actually bring this all the way up. Now I have my completed mood board. I have the option to download everything of individual images into um, a zip folder, or I can download the whole thing as is, as a complete visual that I can just use as my mood board. It would download as a single PNG. And that's it. This is how you can quickly create mood boards, and I don't think that takes me longer than a few minutes, depending on your internet connection, of course. But yeah, that can be a very powerful tool and shorten the amount of time you have to spend on this very tedious task significantly. No more endless searches or tedious rearrangement. Mood AI does all the heavy lifting for you. This is a tool that allows designers to just focus more of our energy on creativities and less on the manual labor. It can be important, but can also be very time consuming. So whether you're a seasoned designer or just starting in the creative field or just want to experiment, Mood AI is here to transform the way you approach creativity. If you like this video, leave a comment and make sure to like and subscribe. You can always visit us at Mood AI or follow us on our Instagram. Until then, let's hatch awesome. Yeah.